in the ever evolving world of container orchestration kubernetes stands tall as the undisputed champion today we are diving deep into all the stars in the constellation k8s k3s k0s and k9s <laughs> Let's begin with the OG of container orchestration, K8S. It is named K8S because there are eight letters between the K and the S of Kubernetes. It is an open-source container orchestration system for automating the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. It was originally designed by Google and now maintained by the CNCF. It is designed to work in distributed systems and can be deployed on premise or in the cloud. Public cloud providers have managed Kubernetes service. For instance, the AWS has EKS, Google Cloud has GKE, and Azure provides AKS. It is ideal for large scale production deployments. K3S is your lightweight sibling of K8S. It is CNCF certified Kubernetes distribution designed specifically for resource constrained environments. It is perfect for IoT, edge computing and CI/CD pipelines. K3S is a single binary and is less than 100 MB. It removes all non-essential features of the full-fledged K8S, making it incredibly easy to deploy and manage on low power devices. K3S has low to no OS prerequisites and works well on devices as tiny as the Raspberry Pi. And its start time it only takes about 40 seconds. Key differences K3S has smaller footprint, single binary installation and a simplified setup. In a nutshell, it is a lightweight and an easy to use version of Kubernetes. The zero in K0s stands for zero friction. It is a Kubernetes distribution that aims to provide secure and stable Kubernetes experience with minimal configuration. It is useful especially for developers with little or no Kubernetes knowledge or experience. It is delivered as a single binary with no host OS prerequisites other than the host kernel. This means it is compatible with all operating systems and does not require any additional software or setting. It is lightweight and secure and it is suitable for bare metal, edge computing, IoT, the public clouds, the private clouds, hybrid clouds and also on premises. It also provides a number of advanced capabilities such as in cluster database and storage support when simplicity is most important to you go for k0s now which of the lightweight distribution k0s or k3s should you go for k3s is lightweight single binary less than 100 mb whereas comparatively k0s has a bigger size of 160 mb k3s supports arm architecture whereas k0s does not k0s is ideal for development environments whereas k3s is used for small and large scale deployments if you want to keep it simple silly go for k0s and if you want to add any enhanced configuration use k3s and finally we have k9s this one is a bit different K9s isn't a Kubernetes distribution itself but rather a terminal based UI for interacting with your Kubernetes clusters whether it is K8s, K3s or K0s. It provides a much more interactive and visual way to manage your Kubernetes resources. You can navigate through pods, deployments, services and more all within your terminal. It is incredibly useful for quickly inspecting the state of your cluster and performing common tasks. That's all for today's video. I hope you now have an understanding of Kubernetes and its variants. Let me know in the comments which Kubernetes distribution you use and why. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.